What the heck? Ransomware attacks are on the rise and your kids could be at risk. Students and schools across the country are becoming victims of ransomware gangs were, who are stealing personal data and releasing it online if a ransom isn't paid. Experts say schools are easy targets because most records have minimal security. In fact, nearly 5 million students already likely impacted. So how can we protect our kids from this? Joining me now, cybersecurity expert Morgan Wright. You know, Morgan, it's, it's uh, it, you know, we become sort of, I wouldn't say um, blasé, if you will, about these cyber attacks, uh, large corporations, our credit cards. But right. they're zeroing in now on our children, and people are saying, okay, how do we stop it? Yeah, you know, there's been fatigue from a lot of these attacks. You know, everybody's heard about ransomware before it was unique. Now it's like, okay, another one. But here's what makes this difference about this, Charles, is now we're going after the most personal information about our children that may not even be held in places like medical files, you know, in other places. It's being held at schools, things about their psychological background, any um, investigations, you know, we've had lots of issues in schools with uh, sexual assaults, things like that. There could be other reports like that that are available. So all of this information and what happens is if the school doesn't pay, like what happened in Minneapolis, they, they asked them to pay a million dollars. When they didn't, they said, okay, we're going to teach you a lesson. It's a deterrent for other folks. If you're thinking about not paying, here's what we're going to do. Then they release the information, and now parents are having to deal with the aftermath of this. And this will go on for years, Charles. And, and to that point, uh, obviously, we know money's going to be an issue to, to sort of be able to uh, beef up these. Uh, I would expect right. hardly no kind of real security for most public schools out there. And, and already we hear, well, the schools need more money. The teachers need more money. Even though we spend more money per pupil than anyone else in the world, how do, how do we resolve this if, if we can't do it financially? You know, that's a good question. Um, at some point, you do have to be able to spend money to um, to build the right kind of defenses. Look, everybody got worried about things like chat GPT and generative AI, like, is it bad? No, there's actually a lot of good things. This could actually help schools and security providers augment an already strained workforce. But the other thing, Charles, it's, it's parents have to be aware of what is legally required for school districts, for schools to collect. They've got to become a good steward of their of their uh, child's information. Understand what the rules under, are, understand what the policies are. Do not disclose anything more than you absolutely have to to get your child enrolled in school, because otherwise what you find out, it's like, if I go to a doctor, I don't disclose my social security number. Why? Because I get no federal benefits. They, there's no legal reason for me to, do, to disclose that. So parents got to do a better job about minimizing that, and schools have to do a better job of getting it rid of information. Charles, in one of these hacks, uh, there was information on servers that was 30 years old. There's no need for 30-year-old information to be on a school server anywhere. Right. And as you were speaking, we also put up a, a screen of some of the uh, additional tips. And what about at home? Uh, is there something that we can do at home with our own laptops and home computers? Yeah, you know, Charles, we should we should teach children the same way we teach them how to drive. You know, graduated access, graduated driving privileges. You got to start young with these children. Teach them about things about protecting their identity. Teach them about not clicking on links. Get them used to using two-factor authentication or multi-factor on everything they do, or connecting over a VPN. Uh, look, in this day and age, we've got such a proliferation of social media. It's very easy for people to get information about us, and it's easier to get it about our kids. So we've got to train them the same way we train them to drive. Right. Right. Graduated access, you know, teach them. And then by the time you hand them a laptop and turn over the keys, you've got to also hold them responsible. Right. I just got 20, super 20 seconds, uh, Morgan. Yep. Do, do we keep paying these ransoms or you know, does that make it worse or better or does it help? Yeah, you know, that that is, I, I don't know if that I have an answer to that question, Charles. If right. you don't, uh, you will be re-victimized again. If you do, you will probably, but I'll tell you what, take the money you would have spent on a ransom right now, spend it on security, and that'll actually do you a lot better. Great, great stuff. Morgan, thank you very, very much, and thanks for joining at you home. Bet, Remember, I uh, just spoke with Ken Fisher. Tomorrow is absolutely huge. We get this jobs report. Uh, today, the estimates went through the roof because we had an alternative report. But a big number doesn't necessarily have to be bad for the markets. The most important thing is watch me tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. I'm making money. I'll set you straight. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.